uh, I started a company. Um, well, this is not my first company, actually. So, um, some words about me. I was an informatics competitor uh, way back in, in the 90s. Uh, I won some medals. Uh, then in 99, I moved to Sofia. I started my first career, which was in networking. Um, and I became a CCAE. Keep it closer, okay. I became a CCAE about two years later. 2003, moved abroad. 2007, moved back to Bulgaria. But in the meantime, I lived in four different countries. And I moved back to Bulgaria to uh, basically continue with my you know, personal development to uh, become a freelancer and then start a company, uh, build a product, things like that, all right? Uh, there are basically two types of companies in in Sofia, uh, in IT in Sofia. There, there is one type of company which is a multinational, which comes to Sofia, um, and the only thing that they're, they're looking at this thing is uh, basically a, a, a mine. So they find the best local talent, they hire them, and that's a resource pool for them, right? Uh, they hire a lot of people. So in Sofia we have uh, HP, VMware, SAP, Microsoft, etc., 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 hiring thousands of people work for them. Uh, and the other type of company in IT uh, in, in Bulgaria, in Sofia, is are local companies like mine, uh, like Marians, like Vasils. Um, we us us they're usually smaller, right? So they're, they're, you may have heard of some of the names like Telerik or Sideground or. Olimex, which is not in Sofia, but it's a Bulgarian company, right? Uh, and uh, I, for me, I see a, a very big difference between the way the big guys, the multinationals, treat the local community uh, and the way these companies, the Bulgarian-owned companies, who have a, you know, a business, business in IT, treat the local community. So the, the second group, um, they help with a lot of things, like um, Telerik, you may have heard of Telerik Academy. So, so that, that's uh, basically an institution that provides education for free with the, the only catch that at the end of the education they might have the opportunity to offer you a job, right? So, so that's the, the only thing there, okay? Um, and a lot of other things. So there are conferences like OpenFest, uh, there are a lot of things supported by this local community uh, of companies, some of which startups like my company. Um, the startup community in Sofia changed a lot uh, a few years ago, like uh, two, two and a half years ago, when uh, a couple of funds uh, called Lunch Hub uh, and Eleven uh, entered the scene, uh, and since then th there's been kind of an explosion uh, in uh, new companies in startups in Sofia, uh, mostly funded by, by these two funds. A lot of these um, companies are in the uh, mobile application and, and web space. Um, some other companies, uh, like mine, are in uh, infrastructure software, and th th there is, it's not only web and not, not only uh, mobile applications, obviously. And the, the only reason, the main reason I wanted to do this talk here is to tell you that the startup community on the Balkans does exist, right? It, it's not something that happens in Western Europe. It's something that we have here, okay? Um, and to encourage you, to, instead of, um, you know, emigrating uh, to Western Europe or the States, uh, try, and, try and work with the resources you have. You have a social network here, you have your friends. Try and work with them, okay? Um, build, if you have the opportunity for it, don't work for a multinational, work for a startup full time. Uh, if you are at that stage of your career that you can do freelancing, of course do freelancing instead of working for a big multinational. Uh, if you have the experience for it, and if you have the balls for it, start your own company. 
It's not easy, right? None of these things are easy. Working for a startup is, for me, is harder, but it's also more rewarding than working, you know, a desk job at, at a, you know, a multinational. And uh, building your own company is even harder, right? So being a, uh, uh, an owner, uh, a shareholder in, in your own startup, being a, a co-founder is even harder than working for one. But it's rewarding, it's, it's great. Um, so my point is, build something great here, uh, where your family is, where your friends are, uh, and help us shape uh, our region's brand.